Hello, uh, I was asked to do a video uh, about my two days at Global Art of Perfumery in Dusseldorf. I've been here since um, Friday. It's been quite a ride. Every perfume exhibition is like a roller coaster of smells after smells after smells after brands after brands. This is a very small exhibition, not like Milan or, or Florence. But anyway, I have my personal favorites and also very nice discoveries. I've just written uh, the second report in Fragrantica. You should check it. It should be online now or in the next minutes. Uh, so this is my hotel uh, room. Uh, and I've gathered some of the samples and some of the bottles that I got. Yes, we do get some freebies and it's just work material. Uh, we have to write. So, starting f with what I'm wearing right now, uh, it's Sans Egal. Uh, this is a fragrance by, you can see that, it's a fragrance by Parfum Sophiste. Uh, I really, really, really love this. It's right up my alley. It's Civet, a Civet bomb, is even though the brand doesn't like to uh, disclose that it has a lot of civet. It's a woody fragrance with a civet animalic base. A um, little dirty but very 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 sexy. Um, another one that I really really enjoyed was La Tête dans, dans les étoiles. Uh, it means head in the stars, something like that. It's from uh, Atelier Bohème. I interviewed uh, Christelle, she's the, the, the perfumer. This is um, uh, an iris fragrance. Uh, powdery and very classy. I really, really, really love it. Uh, I think one of my best discoveries here in, in, in Dusseldorf was, uh, I, th I hope I can say the name correctly, Sven Pritzkolait. Uh, he is a young perfumer. Uh, his brand is in the market for only one month. Actually, not in the market. He's searching for distributors and shops. Uh, he is a really, really talented perfumer. He has one perfume called Civet Tantance, and um, a perfumer or a brand that has uh, a daring idea of calling a perfume Civet Tantance just gained my, my admiration. I have here Violet Moss and Sun Milk Flowers. Violet Moss I haven't tried mm, properly yet. But Sun Milk Flower is just a beautiful fragrance that mixes green uh, notes with milky uh, aspects. Um, these are the bottles. Simple, but the fragrances are not that simple. And Civet Tantons is my favorite. I shall try these more uh, thoroughly and, and write a report on that for you, a fragrance review. Um, I will keep two of my discoveries for later some of the german uh, readers may, may may know it already uh, so more parfum sophiste here is essence of she uh, this is um, a collection of perfumes that are inspired by uh, feng shui and uh, chinese horoscope so these are water, wood, fire, earth, and metal. Five elements. Um, Diana Wyland Fries uh, showed me uh, what the brand is all about, and she gave me a nice interview, which I, I shall publish uh, in a few in, in a couple of weeks in Fragrantica when I recover from the, <laughs> from this uh, exhibition. Um, so this means to. Uh, balance your energy uh, so if you have an imbalance uh, one of these perfumes should really uh, make up for it and they represent the five elements of uh, Chinese philosophy um, a new new brand that that's going to be launched only in September but I have the scoop it's Gizada Gizada from Switzerland I hope you can see it here so it ha they have a feminine and a masculine fragrance. Uh, the feminine is a very uh, commercial floral, and the masculine fragrance is a woody, woody fragrance with a touch of uh, oud, um, and maybe a heavy dose of cedar wood also. 
it's uh, very interesting because yesterday I wore a little bit of it while I was writing the, the first today report and even after a whole night's sleep and after showering in the morning I still had Gisada Womo on my skin so hmm, you have to admire that more I have samples of samples at the Bohem uh, Angela Champagne I really really love this the, this brand, they have a licorice perfume. I hate licorice, I hate, and I don't like to eat it, but they convinced me with just smelling it. Uh, so, what else can I show you? I have a lot of brands, so I won't bother you with this enormous list of brands and samples and things that I saw. But I still have to share this with you, because I really, really love to find uh, chippies. And these two perfumes are very, very famous in, in Germany. Uh, they smell like old ladies, and I love to smell like an old lady. Uh, even though these, these are not familiar to me, but so it's Nonchalance. Uh, they, they are both from Marva und Wirtz. Uh, Nonchalance and Tosca. They are uh, classic floral aldehydes. Nonchalance is more soapy and um, not not as good as Tosca. Tosca is in the line of I think uh, a little bit of Arpege with touches of Nocturne by Caron, uh, a little bit of Chanel number no. 5 in it. It's very very nice, it has an animalic uh, base which I love and it's a little bit soapy at the beginning, the bottle is just gorgeous and it costs I think 5 to 7 euros. I, I know that I spent 13 euros on these two fragrances. I think people from Germany that are already very familiar with it think that I'm crazy that I'm buying perfumes in the supermarket, but I love to find these uh, cheap wonders. So, thank you for bearing with me in this video. I think it's already 7 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. I'm sorry if I just made any m mistake with my English language or something. Thank you for being with me and thank you for reading me. Uh, this is Miguel reporting from Dusseldorf. Bye bye.